Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well oh dear, oh dear, it doesn't look like the BBC have had a great time recently, does it? And now they're even being blamed for the theft of an eight million pound painting. Let's begin. Okay, as many of you will know, I don't actually have a dedicated upload schedule, so the best way to see my videos, as soon as I put them online, is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, this story is from the Daily Mail, and it says BBC blamed for theft of eight million pounds Francis Bacon painting. The friend of the famous artist claims documentary team misled him over show an image of the 15th century home, leading thieves to his door. Now this obviously is not going to be a very great look for the BBC, is it? Especially after the axing of the free TV licences for the over 75s and Hull Martin Bashir Diana interview scandal. Anyway, it says Barry Jewell, I hope I pronounced that right, Barry, claimed the corporation filmed the exterior of his 15th century home in Normandy, France, and Bacon's Pope painting inside without his consent as they interviewed him for a documentary. Mr. Jewell, who was the neighbour and friend of Bacon from 1978 until 1992, was given the painting by Bacon after saving his life as he suffered a minor heart attack in January 1992. So I'm guessing the painting has got quite a lot of sentimental value to him. However, loads of buildings are filmed from the outside and valuables shown in the inside for documentaries and TV programmes. So to blame the BBC for this is a little bit of a stretch in my opinion, but he did ask them not to film the outside or the painting. And without that being included in the programme, the thieves wouldn't have known it was in there, would they? And that is something the BBC can't really argue against, isn't it? Anyway, he claims he asked the programme makers not to include a shot of his home or the painting for security reasons. And obviously that's what I was just saying, the Telegraph reports. So the BBC was asked to do one thing, but then done complete opposite. Why am I not surprised? And this seems to be the problem quite a lot of the time, doesn't it? Especially with their presenters quite often. They are told that they must be impartial, but yet some of them can't seem to help it, can they? they must give out their opinions left, right and centre. I guess the camera crew think they can probably do the same. Anyway, shortly after the documentary was aired, Mr. Jewell was burgled for the painting, which was cut out of its frame after highly professional thieves tapped his phone so they knew he was out. He believes this sequence of events was not coincidental. Mr. Jewell, who lives in France, told The Telegraph, the BBC have ruined my life. Well, to be honest, I've got a feeling you're probably not the only one. Anyway, the £8 million painting was not insured as it was too costly to do so. And Mr. Jewell had believed it would be safe in his home where only his friends knew it was kept. Now, to be honest with you, I haven't seen the programme and I don't know how wealthy or rich this guy might be. However, if I wasn't that well off and I had an £8 million painting in my home, I don't know if it's just me, but I would take a picture of the painting and then sell it especially if it's worth eight million pounds. The BBC documentary, The Strange World of Barry Who, was aired on BBC Four in 2002. So why is this only now coming to light now then, nearly 20 years later? Anyway, it focused on Mr. Jewell's life and how he became friends with three prominent artists from the 20th century. Francis Bacon, dancer Rudolf Nureyev. I'm sorry, I guess I completely pronounced that wrong and model Toto Koopman. Information on the programme from the BBC's website reads, a friend and candidate to the stars, Barry Jewell, is said to have inherited money, paintings or property from artists Francis Bacon, dancer Rudolf Nureyev and model Toto Koopman. But how did this little known man become one of the greatest arts networks of all time? Now, as I said, I haven't seen the programme, but surely he would have been interviewed about this. And if you didn't want someone filming the inside or outside of your property and you saw them filming the painting, surely you'd go, well, what were you doing? Stop, I told you no. Unless he was happy for them to do it at the time, but then later changed his mind. Although if they'd done it behind his back without him even knowing about it, then that is completely disgraceful in my eyes, especially if they knew that he didn't want them to do it in the first place. Mr. Jewell told the Telegraph that the profile had made him look suspicious, as well as claiming it led to the burglary. Mr. Jewell claimed that he had told 15 to 20 executives at the BBC's White City offices to take out shots showing the identity features of his house, which he said they agreed to, but then failed to do so. And that is where the BBC have got something to answer for in my eyes, especially if he did tell that many people. He added that the police believe the painting could be in Moscow with a gangster collector 
as people claim to have seen it. A BBC spokesman told The Telegraph, when people raise concerns about this kind of programmes, we of course look into them. This is a programme made nearly two decades ago, and it is clear that recollections differ, which usually is probably code for, they don't believe him, I'm guessing. If Mr Jewell has concerns about the film, we welcome the opportunity to speak to him directly. Mr Jewell told The Telegraph that the recent revelations around the BBC Martins Bashir's deception of Princess Diana in order to obtain the BBC Panorama interview had encouraged him to come forward with his own story. Well, to be honest with you, if it was me, I would have come forward a lot sooner than 20 years, especially if the painting was worth £8 million. But I guess that's just me. Anyway, let me know what you think. Here are some of my other videos for you to watch next. If you're a legend, click that like button down there. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.